Hello everyone, I'm Drake, like the dragon, not the rapper, and I'm back with uh, more Grim's Hollow. You're about to see me be awful at fighting again, because this game does not offer you any chance to change the controls. So I have to use the arrow keys to move and to do my actions, which I haven't done in so many years. <laughs> It's, 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 you know, it was, it was. I didn't mean to exit. Oh god. This is the, this is the troublesome ghost. And I feel like I'm gonna have to use up all of the food that I have. Damn it, man, I'm already out of things. Okay. I think I sort of know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, what did that do? I thought that was gonna be like, oh, I've now saved the game, at least. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is gonna be bad, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I'm gonna, can I run? No! Bitch! Um, yeah. Man! <sighs> now I have to go get food and do it all over again! This is hard! <laughs> Where am I going? Do I have to fight all of those ghosts? I just wanna get my brother, dude. Just trying to progress and they always respawn. Like if I took care of the ghosts, then why are they respawning constantly? This one is just like waiting for me basically at this point. I'm just not sure I understand. So like it says, okay, so the ghost faded away, but it's always gonna be back, right? I just don't get it. Hello. That's odd, I could have sworn there was an entrance around here the other day. Can you not see this thing right here? Sir? I want to go help that guy up there, but I don't know if I can. Something about this entrance looks dangerous. Oh, well. Timmy? Where are you? Lavender? Is that you? Timmy! Lavender! Hold on. I'm getting close to you. Oh no, you're not. Do you remember me? We met not too long ago at the inn. Well... I wouldn't think you'd care. You just reaped a dozen ghosts like me. Uh, thanks for your help, but I'd like to collect my brother. Collect. That's a nice word for reap. Huh? No. I should never have helped you. You're just like the other reapers. I just want to take my brother and go home. Let me through. No, you've done enough harm. You're not reaping him, if it's the last thing I do. Oh, heck, dude. Bro, just, you know, fuck all of my efforts, right?
You prod the reaper with the butt of your stick. Ah! Oh, thank you for finding me. I was chasing in a ghost, but it disappeared, and so did the exit. That sneaky ghost led me into an ambush. Here's a reward for your troubles. One delicious donut and one spooky cookie. It's nothing, don't mention it. It's not often you find a very intelligent ghost. They're usually very impuls impulsive and frenzied. It's useless trying to talk to them. Poor things can't help it though. They just have too much spirit energy. Hmm. Or do they? Listen, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna run away from y'all again, so... I actually did it. Oh. Okay. Timmy, are you still there? Oh my god, Lavender, what's with your eyes? Lavender? You're okay. You... You can't be a ghost. Timmy? Lavender? Why are you crying, Lala? Tim? Yeah? Hide inside my pocket, and whatever you do, do not come out until I say so. Stay invisible. Otherwise... I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Okay. Oh, Our brother is a ghost. There you are. Where were you? I was worried sick. Figuratively speaking, that is, I can't be sick. Um, I went for a walk. I had to stretch my legs. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. I don't suppose you mind walking a bit further. Um, I want to rest first. Yeah, I'll go have tea with you. Excellent. I don't know, we're just trying things, you know? So, Lavender, which of these treats are your favorite? Is it a cookie or a cake? Are you into muffins or donuts? The baker is dying to know. Wait, that's not the correct word, pardon me. He is eager to know, yes. Um, which of these do I prefer? I guess... I like me a good cake. Good taste, that too is my favorite. Mr. Grimm, I've got a question. No need for formality, you can call me Grimm. Ask away. Can a ghost or reaper ever live again? No. Unless. Unless? They have a soul. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? No, I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. All that's left is spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But every now and then, there are beings who arrive here with a soul completely intact. Normally when this happens, I redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, however. Anyways, more oolong tea. Yes, please. <laughs> Smells nice. Do you have more questions? Uh, why were you mad about balloons? Are you glad? How did I... Why were you mad about the balloons? Let's go one by one. Haha, <laughs> you remember that? Well, I wanted to throw the party first. I was going to set up balloons in this room right here. But when I looked in the closet, all of the balloons were gone. Are you God? No, I'm certainly not. As far as my powers go, I can teleport a certain distance. And I can reap ghosts very well, but other than that, I can't do a lot of things. 
I can't bake, for example, such an amazing thing, food. How did I die? I don't know that, I'm afraid. I don't see anything which happens on Earth. Hmm. What happens after I pass on? My guess is as good as yours. I have never seen the afterlife only delivered spirits to it. Hmm. I guess I'm good. You know, usually new reapers don't tend to believe any of this is real. If they do, they start assuming we're a cult. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the masks. <laughs> but it seems like you've taken to the idea rather quickly. That's because I saw ten years ago and stuff like that. And so I feel rather concerned. Does he know? What are you trying to say? Simply whether you're all right, Lavender. I care about all my Reapers, yourself included. I'm... I'm all right, really. Very well. Baker, you didn't need to sneak into my closet for ingredients, you know. But you look busy and I was running out of flour. How would you like teaching Lavender to reap? I mean, I would like to help. But, you know I don't fight, Grim. You'd be better off asking someone else. You don't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out of there carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, whenever you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm going to put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. Okay. You made sure to finish your oolong tea before leaving. I don't think I've ever had oolong tea. I don't really know what oolong is. It's like what kind of fun? A mask that looks incomplete. It looks like a human head. Is everything all right, Lavender? I hope the tea was to your taste. Grim's speciality is reaping ghosts. There's no way I can tell him about it to me. Everything's fine. Thank you for the tea, Grim. My pleasure, Lavender. There's a knitted fabric and a needle lying on a chair. It's you. I don't recommend going through in there if I were you. A door is an interdimensional portal to a world full of ghosts so horrifying that you would not recover upon seeing them. Why is it here? Oh, it's my morning shift. There are ghosts outside the hollow that must be dealt with. Okay. Hmm. Can I go into the closet? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me to lock the closet door, Lavender. I do not enjoy scolding people, but I think it- I must be more firm about Reapers wandering into my closet whenever they like. Alright, man. Psst, sis, I need to talk to you. You peek down in your hoodie pocket. But that guy said about having a soul? I had one, too. But, Timmy, everyone used to have that. No, but I had one when I arrived. What? I remember waking up in a cave, and when I looked down, I looked like a person like I used to, and everything was kind of glowy, like a greenish glow. But then other ghosts came into the cave, and they were scary, and they started chasing me, and so I started running, and then I blacked out. When I woke up again, I felt light, and I couldn't see myself. I think my st soul is still here, Lavender. Somehow I can feel it. Maybe that ghost took it. I believe you. I'll try and find it. Thanks, sis. No shush, I need to go. I look crazy if I'm caught talking to my pocket. You look crazy anyway. You stick out your tongue and immediately close your pocket. Oh, dude. Should I go back in? Is there anything interesting here? No, I already talked to all of these. Oops. So sensitive to movement. I can't take a balloon. That's sad. Okay. I guess we talked to the baker now, huh? 
Oh, hey, Lavender. I just finished setting up to go. Are you ready? This? Cool. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, you can have this. Chocolate cake. Looking at it, you think you can see why it's Grim's favorite? My gut instinct said you might be into them. Oh, um, thanks. Did Grim give you a sight? Honestly, he's a bit forgetful at sometimes. Wait, how is there two of you now? Yeah, I've got a scythe, just not from Grimm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to the second cave. That's the one on top of the hill. Let's get going. The baker has joined you. Guess I'm carrying him in my pocket as well. This one? Right, Lavender. I'm going to teach you how to reap a ghost. Or you could just do that. <laughs> Is that it? Well, no. If you close your eye sockets, then you can use the... I close my eyes, I think I'm doing it. I'm not even touching anything. The, the text is just going like that. I don't think there's much else for you to teach me, Baker. Once it's gone, Kim Timmy and I can find the soul together. Slow down, newbie. I'm not leaving until we, well, you clear this cave. Every newbie does it. Besides, I need to take care of you if you faint. Oh. And on top of that, there's something I want to show you. Hmm? What is it? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Lead the way, Lavender. I lost a friend down here. Last time I saw them, they were cast chasing a waterfall. Please let me know if you find them. Oh. Well, I will do, buddy. anything down here? Nope. Ooh. I wanted to jump down to get to the other thing. Ghost faded away. Then spirit energy reached. Okay, but how do I get down there? Do I go like that? Oh, I guess that's it. Okay. Jumping is really cute. <laughs> Looks like there used to be a ladder there. Um, I think I can do some more upgrades of some stuff. Have the spirit defense for the first of the reaping in this shattering hit. Um, that kind of sounds good. What's this? Double your strength for the rest of the reaping. Do I have anything that gives me more health or defense? Hmm. I guess you could say that I have to clear the cave, so I'm gonna have to fight the ghosts. Oh. That's- that was pooky. Oh, these battles are gonna- Lost a while, huh? I might still die here. Yep. Oh, I didn't die. Finally. Christ. These battles take a while, dude. I guess I didn't expect it to be quite like this. I just didn't expect that much work. <laughs> What's here? Oh, hello. And goodbye. Wow, okay. I'm dead. What now? Hey, I didn't like the idea of leaving you on the ground, so I took a cute dress and said, don't push yourself too hard, okay? Wanna hear something helpful? If you pass out, you still gain some spirit energy. That's because just twinging a scythe at a ghost takes off some spirit energy. Neat, huh? Yeah, okay, that's still the same stuff. What did you know? Let's go. Guess back at it. Well, and I mean, 
Yeah. I could get some more supplies though. Who's that? That's the substitute baker. You don't know how to bake. My sub just takes care of my profits when I'm away. And most importantly, protects my buns. See, I just don't get it. How are the ghosts always back? Even though I was supposed to have taken care of them. I'm not sure if I have to, like, actually get all of them. I don't know. Still not really sure what's going on and all of that, you know? Like, do I want to fight the ghosts or would it be better if I... Couldn't escape? Heck. This ghost is cute, I don't wanna kill it. But I guess I don't have an option, do I? Oh, You okay, buddy? Why can't I speak to any of the ghosts? Hello? Prod the reaper with the butter size. No. I don't want to wake up for school. Book them again. Hey, wake up. You're dreaming. Shut up. Poke a bit harder. Wah! Oh, it's just you, Baker, and... Lavender. Right. Wait! Baker, why are you here? I thought you were a wimp who hated ghost caves. Excuse you. I prefer to call myself an artist. Of bread? <laughs> Anyways, nice to meet you, Lavender. Here. Two delicious donuts. Some donuts, so you do not feel weak. See ya. Okay, well, that was kind of nice. I've been here for a while, Lavender, but I'll never understand that jump. Try not to think about it. Wait. Hmm. Is there anything here? No? How about here? No. No secret doors this time around, it would seem. Oops. Gonna have to fight these, I think. Unless... Can I run? <laughs> I would like to run. Get an escape. Great, now they can attack me again. That feels great. Okay, well, that sucked absolute ass. Look at all them ghosts. Baker, what are these? Whenever I touch them, they just melt. That's an early ghost. They're ghosts that haven't turned hostile yet. Yet. Don't you or anyone here feel bad weeping these ghosts? Sometimes they look so sad. I do, that's why I don't want any part of it. And everyone else? I'll tell you what Grim tells everyone. They're already dead. If anything, you're just sending them to a better place. Staying as a ghost is much worse than passing on. Let's get going. Like, no joke, even when on casual mode, these are difficult. Come here. Let me, let me let you go. <laughs> Can I do that? here really help any of the other ones can I 
too bad. Oh, there goes one. Oh, hey. The Cry the Reaper. Reaper wordlessly hands you five delicious donuts. <laughs> That's dope. Thank you for the donuts, dude. Best know I'm gonna save after every important move that I seem to make. We're gonna have to fight that one, aren't I? Or no? I guess I won't. I gotta fight that one though. Ooh, parasite! You are spooky looking. Ouch! How dare you? I'll slash you right back. Oi. Not allowed. Didn't mean to do that, but I would have died, so that might not be bad. <laughs> yes, thank god that, that was enough. Again, I'm playing on casual. <laughs> this does not feel casual. Hey, Lavender. This uh, looks like a good spot to take a break. Are you saying that because you're tired? Not at all. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So. So? Can I ask you something, Lavender? We just did, but go ahead. What's that spiral on your cheek? Oh. The cheek mark. Well, it runs in a family. Everyone has these. I... Sort of wish I didn't have them when I was alive. Why? Well, it doesn't matter now, but it caused a lot of problems when I was a kid. Like, once in primary school, my teacher asked why I drew on my face with a marker. I tried to explain, but they got a wet towel and tried to wipe it off. I mean, it was kind of funny. That wasn't too bad. But from middle school onwards... Well, there's no need to talk about that. I understand. Well, I like it. In my primary school, if anyone was found drawing on themselves, the teacher would punish them severely. Punish how? With their hands? Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Geesh, what kind of school is that? A regular primary school, when I was alive. That's sad. It's okay. It's long past. Honestly, everything about my life seems so long ago. It almost makes me want to cry thinking about it. But then newbies like you appear and tell me about what life is like now. It sounds much better. Baker, can I see your face? What? Please, I haven't seen another person in ages. No, no, no. You really don't want to see my face. Why not? I don't look that good. Baker, come on. Do you really think that after that talk we just had? Do you really think that after the talk we just had, I think any different of you? No, but please. Okay. Thanks. But I warned you. <laughs> You're actually bred? Oh, <laughs> oops. Forgot about that. There. How does it look? I... Bad, huh? Longer we stay here in the hall as reapers, the more our faces become contorted. Until we lose parts altogether. And it's always the eyes which go first, no matter what. The eyes? Look in the water, Lavender. You peer down at your own, reflex at your own reflection. Empty sockets stare back at you. Grim made masks because many of us became heavily disturbed when we looked into the faces of others. When we saw our own reflections, we recoiled. We felt uncomfortable with ourselves, with each other. So these masks are a relief. We don't have to look at each other and be reminded. We don't like our faces, Lavender. 
No one likes to feel inhuman. Graham isn't much of an artist, though. He can't draw anything besides from skulls. Maybe we could use you as reference one day, you know, because most of your face is intact. I freaked you out. Here, I'll just put the mask back on. No, don't do that. Of course I was shocked, Baker, but I don't think you would. You should hide your face in a mask. It doesn't matter to me how you look, and I don't think it should for others either. So keep your mask off. Alright. We're not far from where we need to go now. Okay. Let me just <laughs> save. Of course. Um, I don't think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to have a lot of fighting to cut through. Still, you know, not figuring it out. I figured it out, but I'm just not good at it. <laughs> so, hate me all you want, but I'm liking the game. The story is really nice, so actually don't hate me. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. It would mean a lot to me, and uh, thank you for hanging out. Hopefully I'll see you real soon for the next episode. Bye for now.